and welcome to the Uthermo channel. In this video, we will calculate the flow rate of CO2 in a pipeline using a compressibility chart. The problem that we will solve is as follows. Carbon dioxide at 304.2 Kelvin and 14.77 MPa flows with an average velocity of 10 meters per second in a pipeline whose internal diameter is equal to 250 millimeters. Find the molar flow rate of carbon dioxide, assuming ideal gas behavior, or using a compressibility chart, knowing that the critical temperature and the critical pressure of carbon dioxide are equal to 304.2 Kelvin and 7.383 MPa, respectively. Equation 1 shows the relationship between the molar flow rate, n with a dot on top, and the molar density, ρ, the cross-sectional area of the pipeline, A, and the average velocity, U. And we use that the reciprocal of the molar density is the molar volume, which is represented with an underlined V in equation 1. We now need a way to express the molar volume as function of the variables that we know. And to do that, we use the ideal gas equation, the molar volume being equal to RT divided by P. I can then replace the molar volume in the molar flow rate expression, and we obtain equation 3, which gives the molar flow rate as function of the cross-sectional area, average speed, pressure, temperature, and the universal gas constant. Plugging in the numbers, we find that the molar flow rate, under the assumption of ideal gas behavior, is 2.867 times 10 to power 3 moles per second. This is the answer of the first item of this problem. The second item of this problem asks us to use a compressibility chart. We applied the compressibility by using that the molar volume is equal to ZRT over P, where Z represents the compressibility factor. With some steps of algebra, we identify in equation 6 that the term between brackets was the solution for the ideal gas case, and therefore the molar flow rate when we use the compressibility chart is equal to the molar flow rate of the ideal gas case divided by the compressibility factor. The next point is how to get the compressibility factor. This is a compressibility chart. It shows the compressibility factor as function of reduced pressure for different values of the reduced temperature. The reduced pressure is the absolute pressure of the system divided by the critical pressure of the fluid, and the reduced temperature is the absolute temperature divided by the critical temperature of the pure substance. At the given problem conditions, the reduced temperature is equal to 1, and the reduced pressure is equal to 2. We can now enter the diagram using these two numbers. This is the red dot on the compressibility chart and it corresponds to a compressibility factor of about 0.31. Using this value for the compressibility factor, we find that the molar flow rate is equal to 9.247 times 10 to power 3 moles per second. Here is a summary of the solution. The key observation is that by using the compressibility chart, the molar flow rate is more than three times the value that we found using the ideal gas assumption. So there's a huge difference. Which one should be more accurate? Definitely the one we found using the compressibility chart. In this problem, it's absolutely crucial to take into account the compressibility of the gas for a realistic design of the pipeline. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any comment or question, do not hesitate to contact us at the Uthermo channel.